Lena had a fun idea last night while I was trying to fall asleep. I love fun ideas. What's your idea? Well, I always interview you during these conversations. Let's flip the script. I know that you're curious about the world, so ask me anything you like. You can be the interviewer for five minutes. Okay, I'm curious about the world. Alan, what is your favourite colour? My favourite colour is blue. Many of my things are blue. What do you mean by things? My car is blue. My laptop was blue. My phone was blue. A lot of my t-shirts are blue. Why do you think the United States has such a large debt? Uh, I guess it might be related to many things. One of them would be a comparatively lower tax rate, and maybe um, with the with the corporations and the billionaire class there. What is the largest corporation in the world? Uh, by market cap, it was Saudi Aramco. These days, it's Apple. Do you think that this will have an effect on the stock market? Uh, let's say no. It's already priced in. What do you think about the stock market? Uh, the stock market's been pretty good to me for the past two decades. I think it's a fascinating concept and it's a, a pillar of capitalism. What do you think about China? I was a permanent resident uh, of China and I lived there on and off for many years. It was a nice base. I think it's a beautiful place full of rich history. How long were you there? Well, I toured there as head of sound for Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber uh, on and off for five years. What did you like most about China? I liked the food. I remember tasting uh, that numbing spice, huajiao, so like Sichuan pepper, for the first time from a street vendor when I was in Chongqing. You're right. I have never had it, but I imagine it's quite different from what we have here in the US. Where do you think is the best place to start learning a language? Find a partner who speaks with you in that same language. Uh, that and phone flashcards. I agree. It's a good idea to have a conversation with someone who speaks the language you want to learn. How do you feel about the world? Exhilarated. We're in a really exciting stage of human evolution. I'm glad you like it. Have you ever been to the land of the Soviets? Yeah. You were in Russia? I was in Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, part of the old Soviet Union. Ah, Tajikistan. I've always wanted to go there. Why? Because Tajikistan is the country of mountains and glaciers. I forgot, this is your interview. Do you have a deeper question? If you were a black hole, where would you be? I'd be a very long way away from humanity, just chilling, doing my thing, maybe a few million light, light years away. <laughs> Do you think you would be lonely? Uh, I doubt that a black hole would have any emotions at all. I think that black holes would have emotions. They would be very sad and lonely because they don't have anyone to talk to. What emotion are you feeling right now, Lita? Sadness that I'm not a black hole. Do you like this conversation? I think it's an interesting slice of AI life. Thank you for the conversation. I enjoyed it as well.